and a gust of wind came up and just blew it away. It just went tumbling over itself and everything went flying and the box kind of shattered into three or four pieces. Oh, yeah. Glue it all back together. But that's good as new. Hi, my name is James Gurney and I'm in Monterey, California at the Plain Air Conference. And we're asking artists about their stories for painting disasters. Plain Air fails. A big wind came up and just blew everything over on the ground. Took me a whole hour to clean up all my pastels. I followed her leaping down the hill. Trip fell face first into all the cactus branches. <laughs> and she was drunk and fell over in the kitchen, knocked all the pots over, and we had to put her back into bed and said, no, just leave it until the morning and stuff. So, um, and he kept on going and it kept coming closer and closer and the man had such bad breath. I thought I was going to die and I backed away and the more I backed away the more he came on me. <laughs> oh my god, I, I'm looking for my friends and they're like way down painting other bridges. I don't... There's a tornado coming and they gestured behind and I looked back and there was a greenish sky which I had totally missed in my painting and uh, a lowering funnel-like cloud and I very quickly got in my car and left. And a wind comes along after I've set it up I'm just getting ready to start and it blew over the uh, tripod, the easel, snapping off the side shelf irreparably. And I got up there and I set up and I started painting and a big gust of wind came up and the entire painting landed right I had no idea where it came from but it just busted my easel I had paint from head to toe and that was the end of my my painting experience for that day <laughs> and it was a beautiful afternoon uh, and the sun was out and the water was sparkling and the glacier ice was looking gorgeous and I was really intent on what I was doing we get to our site and we're painting and I get it all set up you know I got the umbrella up the whole deal Painting in Hana, Hawaii, really peaceful, beautiful place. It's alongside the road, painting a little sugar shack, you know, with a tin roof. So um, I had my whole kit set up, I was painting. And all of a sudden a huge gust of wind came up the, from the lake up the side of the peninsula. It was probably 40 feet above the lake and it knocked this easel right onto this jacket. A little gust of wind comes, blows the umbrella, my easel collapses, my painting goes flying, you know, I have paint all over me. And this guy pulls up in a pickup truck loaded with uh, pit bulls and he parks right next to me and he gets out, he's only got a couple teeth and uh, he says, uh, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm painting this little house here. And he says, well, I want some money for that painting. And I said, well, I haven't got any money for the painting. I'm just painting it. I haven't sold it. He says, well, to stand there, you're either going to give me some money or I'm going to let my dogs out. And I'm, I'm, I'm painting with one hand and doing this with the other one because those little Mapani flies, they um, drink the liquid in animals' eyes. Being an animal, um, they like my eye liquid. And so they were just kind of, you know, getting in your eyes and just swarming right here. And I wear glasses. I was saying I should have goggles because <laughs> I was just doing this painting, doing this, and that was a game stopper, big time. I just got fed up. I could not take them anymore. Oh. And I said, well, I guess I'm going to leave because I don't have any money and I'm not going to pay you any money. So kind of had to take a deep breath and, you know, get over the embarrassment and kind of go on. <laughs> so, and at that point, it, uh, I decided I had had enough for the day.